Oh man. Oh, why, why were you on my bed? That's kind of uh, weird. But yo, what's up guys? Shins here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pixelmon series. Today, we woke up inside the Magikarp. The Majestic Magikarp. The one we were here. Um, you know, let's see. Anything new here? Yeah, nothing new here. But on the bright side, we're still far from the base. 10.9 kilometers. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get moving over here. We still have to train Cinderace, and then the rest are currently almost there to the cap. They're like 10, maybe 15 levels off, which is good because that means that we're decently close. I know that smoke is almost close. But we do have little homie here. Transfer tutor. Okay, perfect. But there's nothing he can actually. Never mind. This isn't the one I wanted. No. What I do have to find is a couple more trainers before I start using the candies. How many candies do I have? I got 44. So 10, 13, 10, that's 26 candies already. 12, that's 38. And then, ooh, I would have very little candies left for the rest. Yeah, no, I still have to level up a lot more before I actually start using it. At least maybe, maybe around level 70. Within that level range, level 70 is actually pretty good because I could go ahead and just, ouch, use five rare candies on each and every one of them and then they'll basically be right, be right there next to the level cap do you see something all the way back there let's go ahead and fly to it quickly oh this is one of those towers with like the tutor at the at the top mate Ooh, there we go bring the sigue back in the move relearner this is what i'm talking about he doesn't really have anything good maybe later on i'll teach one of the pokemon's moves and such like one of the legendaries i'll obviously come back with them so they could learn a uh, special move of theirs. Let's jump in the wall. <gasps> Something smoke was telling me. He was like, you know what you should do? Try the gyms once again. I was like, yeah, we're definitely not doing that one. With how impossible they are and with all the moves that they have, that's just, yeah, impossible. Oh, look, a little spot here. Does it have trainers though? Oh, it does have a trainer. Level 30, not that much, but ooh, we're redactyl. Okay, let's go ahead and use double kick. Oh my God, rock slide. Okay, double kick, Tertuogo's water and rock. Double kick also works out. We could go ahead and hit it with another double kick maybe, because I mean, it's rock. Archon is another rock type. Man, where are the non-rock types? Solosis, here we go. Now we're actually talking. Here we go. Let's run around here. Ah, uh, Flittles, those are level 30s, and I don't know what type they are another gym area they're decently close to each other oh he's level 37 fighting him pyro oh, ball bell sprout easy peasy oh that was too fast and for the little xp that i gained, do i even ha yeah i have the lucky egg on too that's for me to gain a bajillion xp and i did not even gain that yeah no we can't be doing mm, should i try i mean i want to try but i feel like they're gonna kill me i'm not ready to die let's go ahead and fly up man there's nothing around here there's like no trainers or anything i mean there is the den but i'm not gonna do a den the den doesn't the den gives me more items than xp i mean it does give me the xp candies don't don't get me wrong that's actually pretty cool i mean actually it's actually helped what i do want is another legendary to spawn or another mega pokemon why not i've been finding a lot of these little town cities thingies my bobbers whatever you want to call it and at what cost because they're just gyms they don't have trainers or anything would this have trainers or even pokemon the mycelium biome or island however you want to well it does have paris but paris Oh, I thought that was a Pokemon. I thought it would be like, is that a Pokemon? Dude, once again. Oh, ouch. Nothing around here. So time to go again. Bye, Wingle. I still don't know what these little temples are for. If you guys know, please let me know in the comment section below because I really don't know what they are for. I see them all the time. I've seen like 10, maybe 20 already. Something I did see in a distance is a couple Christmas trees. <laughs> Man, this is why. Why don't you take fall damage with me? Oh, you're my homie, my partner. But from the looks of it, you ain't. Just let me taking the damage all by myself. It's all good. I remember that when you when you need uh, some potions. More rare candies. You got eight more. Dude, we got two more trees. Three more trees. Hey, man, I'm, I'm all for the trees, honestly. Okay. Here we go. We got that one. And the other one's like back here. Oh, yeah. Look at it right there. Dude, we are almost fifth. We're right now 15 kilometers away from the base. That's really far. That is extremely far. Hey, but on the bright side, we're finding a lot of rare candies, which right now we have a stack. We have a whole 64, which I think we could use to get our Pokemon to the level that we have to get them to. What I do want to know what the hell is over here. I don't know what this is. Oh, this looks like that one house from the oh it is the house with like the cherished balls and everything and the rare candies oh my 
god more rare candies yes sir how, how, how many did we pick up there we picked up four i mean still that's perfect i had forgotten about these like houses thank you more cherish balls dude i was at 16 cherish balls i think i i think before i started picking these up i was at like 16 left and i'm at 36 i mean hey i'm not complaining i'll take it all let's go ahead and heal up our pokemon here with nurse joy thankfully it ain't that dr john dude anymore my family had a pokemon center built we don't care about your family what else is over oh there's a battle center ground thingy okay 40 50 and 30. i started with the 30 to see what type of i mean okay so he has ice pokemon okay chin chow that's water and electric so i might as well just hit it with a double kick okay Enough. messed us up but we took it down cast form is a normal so we could hit it with the double kick also vanillish bro flame charge just to go first flaffy pyro ball definitely oh oh my god there we go pillow swine let me go ahead and just use a uh hybrid potion just in case ice shard okay pyro ball it still goes first on oh, it avoided it avoided the attack twice not once twice there we go okay i leveled up to 52 now we got to go back and heal them Perserker? Type in is what type in are you? Double kick? Okay, so you might be dark or normal. Hey, but you gave you gave me some good XP. I'll take it. Or you could be steel now that you dropped those ingots. Bear tick? Holy shit. Aqua jet? Okay, pyro ball. Okay. Berserker, which we just fought right now. Ooh, we got close combat. Ooh. There we go. Vanillux. Ooh, Decidueye and Cinderace. Hey, double whammy right there. I'll take it. Go ahead and hit with the uh, Hyrule Ball Cross Last. Critical hit. There we go. Line Noon. Double kick. Okay, so now let's go ahead and switch out. Instead of having to go heal, even though I do have a healer here, but instead of having to go heal, let's go ahead and start up the next one. Hyrule Ball. Easy P. 4,000 XP. That's wild. Damn. Let's pull out Blastoise so we can go ahead and pick up Cinderace. Since it's a ground and ice. Flash cannon, yeah, flash cannon is crazy. Aqua tail, ooh. Okay, there we go. Cinder is still got the three thousand. Cursula, what type would this Cursula be? Oh, there you go. Found it. It's grass, maybe. Let's go ahead and pyro ball it. Yeah, Obstagoon, it's dark. No. Okay, Aurasphere. Ooh. Okay, chill, buddy. Chill. We're all friends here. Okay, Lucario's down and out. Ancient power should take it out. <gasps> oh my God, it didn't. Oh my god, now I did. Okay. Onyx. Ah, oh, come on. Leaf Blade. There we go. Oh, damn. He got the sturdy. Okay, Leaf Blade. And we should be good. There we go. Let's go ahead and heal here instead of having to go to no shore. Because, yeah, might as well just do it here. And bloop. Okay, so now we got to go ahead and continue exploring. Dude, that's crazy. We leveled up Cinderace, I think, four levels. Maybe five levels. Just being there. And then the Sage Y went up by one. And Rampardos went up by one also. Hey, we're gaining. It's all about gains. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a, another den here. Double kick. Here we go. Oh, I did not mean for that to happen. All right. So why is there? Oh, the den is above. Let me go ahead and eat here. Oh, but it's a cast form. I feel like some of these aren't really worth it because I mean I did that aurora one and it only gave me a dynamax candy and i forgot what else was the other thing <laughs> but the cast form is like oh no it's a three star we could try it to see oh okay so it looks like the so from three stars and onwards they get a extra additional like shield thingy because when we did the the aurora one it didn't like give the shield thingy and then this one also gave me a, like you know candies rare candies and uh exp candies so that, hey that's a win in my book i mean doing the dens are pretty cool even though you don't really get xp for your pokemon but you do get items for your pokemon you know what i mean oh copycat really okay there we go okay 1500 i'm not complaining let me go ahead and give the candy here to cinder come here stop moving 10k xp holy that's a lot i feel like i should do dens a little bit more because i mean i did do them previously and then i had stopped doing them because some of them were just a little bit too impossible but even then the rewards were pretty nice if you ask me Okay, so here we go. Here's another den here. Honestly, I would jump off the Sidui and just pull out the water bucket, even though, even though I don't have one, just to go ahead and test my luck. But I'm not gonna do that. This is a two star one. Now watch, watch, watch me do the two star one and not have a yeah. See, there's no shield thingy because I used Pyro Ball, instantly killed it, and then it only gives me the Dynamax candies. So yeah, the, I think the three star ones and higher are super worth it because exp candies rare candies and they're a little bit more difficult but i feel like it's worth it at the end of the day because that exp candy the large one 10k exp for cinderace was super good look another one of those um towers 
these towers are really good the only thing is that they're super op leveled like level look at this level 80 tyranitar i don't think i could defeat that i mean i could try with the hydro pump but ooh, south rocks aqua tail hey am i oh am i actually gonna defeat it oh i defeated a level 80 tyranitar oh but he got a lycan rock yeah that it's a whole different story yeah no i don't think i'd be able to defeat it or sphere if i actually defeat this dude like that's gonna be insane dude you withdrew nah there we go knock off dude what the heck okay, let's try one more hyper potion then we're gonna do the aura sphere and bloop, there we go 4k dude that's crazy 4000 4000 xp that's actually some good stuff right there aura sphere oh no seed bomb did nothing there we go aura sphere 3000 and then lichen rock okay aura sphere and then i should be able to take out the lichen bro stoutland ah yeah i'm dead i'm done though stoutland's gonna use earthquake watch pursuit pursuit again why is he using pursuit because from what i remember stoutland has earthquake oh and it, but if we drew oh mega lucar what the f it just drain punched okay we could go mega to mega never mind <laughs> never mind let's go ahead and hit with brave bird dude it's too op yeah nah i don't i don't beat this one yeah no i don't beat dude what the hell nah that's crazy that is absurd i almost beat him though almost his last pokemon was a lucario brother let me go ahead and heal first and then we go from there okay start out with lucario but dude it's crazy mega absol jesus but it's crazy how his last pokemon was a mega lucario i defeated almost all of them i think and his last pokemon was a mega lucario knockoff okay let's knock this mega absol out damn that looks absurd oh there we go check it out 2k scrafty knock it dude what is it with the move knock off like i understand this is a dark tower but damn i could hit it with the double kick okay and the knock the knockoff just 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 check him out just check him out as per usual how does a knockoff instantly kill what leave play yeah no <laughs> i'm done i'm leaving yeah forfeit this battle i'm leaving i've tried almost how do i almost beat a level 80 but cannot beat a level 70 i i don't i, I don't know how that doesn't make any sense dude's prepping look at him look at him left and right 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 oh my god dude that's crazy so so far we've done level grinding we've done a couple dens which have been super nice they've treated us really well and then we did a tower of darkness which we almost defeated the level 80. well level 80 trainer would have been nice if we actually defeated him because then that way i know that my pokemon are actually ready to beat smoke but it did not go through as planned and that's perfectly fine that is perfectly fine got ahead with the thunder punch here there we go yeah see three stars and higher have an extra shield and one more thunder punch should actually knock it out Ooh, damn mega aggron i gotta find a way to get my pokemon mega i still haven't learned that Okay, so it gave us a couple of uh, good items. We don't really need those berries, but what we do need is the good old Cinderace out here. Here you go, buddy. Even though you, <laughs> even though you didn't really do it, but you currently need it for the levels. We see a little tree here. New wise glasses, brother. Is there any good power ups from this like thing? I've just been getting junk on junk on junk on junk on junk. But there's another tree right here, and I can tell because of the lantern. Destiny knot, which I do not need once again okay let's keep moving over here and then another city another city and another campfire with a pokestop oh there we go. i'll take the super potions that's really about the only interesting thing that's actually in there wait where's the sigui hello oh hi buddy don't know why the hell you're back here but dude does the sigui like not fly there we go there's another campfire here are there trainers oh boy there is oh who are you 50 30 and 30 i don't know who that is but uh, that one seems interesting no i began with the wrong person i meant to pull out cinders here we go double kick ponita we could double kick you also meowth also takes another double kick vivalon is a flame charge dude vivalon gave almost 2k jigglypuff we could hit it with the pyro ball Herdier, double kick rampardo's leveled up oh man this is this is going good I'm guessing homeboy over here is gonna have the same pokemon and i think he will and I brought up the same one. Double kick. Ponita, which is a double kick. The only reason why I'm actually going to keep this part in is because we're actually fighting. We're actually talking. At the same time, it's an instant process. Jigglypuff with a pyro ball. Oh, it avoided it? That's a first time. And then hurt it with the double kick. See? Easy as that. But let me pull out Cinderace this time for level 50. 
Ooh, Espeon. Okay, Pyro. Expanding Force. Okay, there we go. Level 58. Manectric. Hyper Potion. Bolt Switch. Tora. Brother. Taurus is going to use Earthquake. I told you. 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 I knew it. Dude, Earthquake is the most annoying move ever. I swear to God. Manectric. Oh, my God. With the Volt Switch. Okay, let's pull up Blasters. He deserves a little bit of fun. Hit him with that good old Hydro Pump, buddy. Okay, Manectric. Hit him with another bolt switch nah bro you're doing way too much watch him bolt switch against his stoutlin why what is this torture bro iron head yikes zen headbutt it's gonna kill us yeah it's it's definitely gonna kill us leaf blade yeah no you're definitely not taking him out and then phantom fo oh my god flamethrower and i still got it i still got it easy and simple even though cinderace no was actually dead but he actually gained a little bit of level you know go ahead and take you dude we gotta find another oh Wait, I could have sworn I saw a den back here when I was fighting. I could be wrong. Oh, nope. Look, I was not wrong. Oh, but it's a electric. Oh, brother. It's a two star. We don't want that. One in the water. This is going to be interesting. Bloop. Who do we have here today? Looks like a basculine. Water. I could pull out Decidueye. Oh, no, this is a relicanth. A relicanth that you could barely see in the water. And everybody's just floating above, even with the Pokemon. So, Leaf Blade should... Ooh, Leaf Blade did full on 50%. Clefairy took the hits. Okay, use Dive. Okay, so there we go. We broke it. And one more Leaf Blade should knock it. Yep, just like that. Should knock it out. I'm not going to catch it because I'm not interested in catching it. Let's go ahead and throw out the berries because, once again, the berries, we do not need them. The large candy. Go ahead and get up and give it to Cinderace. There's a lot of water Pokemon as of lately. I mean, considering that I'm in the deep, cold ocean, duh, but even that... Ooh. But yeah, like I was saying, even then, you know, I'm in the ocean. Of course, they're all going to spawn there. Ooh, I almost gave it to the wrong Pokemon. Come on, Cinderace. There we go. 59. Damn, we've grinded in such a short time. That's pretty good. We've done a couple things this episode. I'm actually proud. Dude, we are almost 20 kilometers away from the base. Right now, we are 18.4 kilometers. We're going to have a long way to travel back. So, I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to challenge these trainers. Challenge these trainers, right? And then I'm going to go ahead and head back home. 30, 40, and 40. That's perfect. Sucker punch, really? Out of all the moves you could use. Nido King, that's actually scary. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was actually scary. Blitzel, I've dude, I haven't seen a Blitzel in forever since I played Black and White. That that was the last time I ever saw a Blitzel. Wow, good times, honestly, good freaking times. So Luxray is pretty good. Dodrio to take a Pyro Ball to the face. Tauros, oh my god, please don't use Earthquake. Oh, Stone Edge. Oh my god. Why must you kill it? So it's still alive. We could just go ahead and hit with a Meteor Mash. Get Cinderace 10 points. Diggersby. These guys got Pokemon that I have not seen in forever. I'm going to be honest with you. He survived the Bone Rush? Yeah, no, I was about to say. Girafferig. Isn't it Fairy? Yeah, it's Fairy. Or I think it's the other one that's Fairy. I don't remember clearly. So we healed our Pokemon. Oh. Please don't use Stone Edge. It survived? Oh, I was about to say, I was about to start screaming like it was at 0.9%. I was about to start screaming my, my soul out. Okay, Pyro Ball. Nido Queen. Yeah, definitely another Pyro Ball. Dodrio. Okay. Audi out, out. Oh, no. Let me wa watch me heal and watch you use the earthquake. I knew it. I knew it. I called it. Uh, Zeb Striker. Wow. Yeah, this, this brought back so many memories. All right, there we go. We got all three of them and such little time you know literally talking about it blitzel and then lit leo oh man great times honestly such great memories of black and white man i want to say it was the best pokemon ever but unfortunately it was not if for others it was hey perfect you know to each their own you know with their preferences and stuff but i think the best for me diamond pearl and platinum oh and brilliant diamond and shining shining pearl i think it was yeah b uh bdsp yeah bdsp yeah brilliant diamond shining pearl yeah okay yeah see i still remember my pokemons man come on but that right there was the best pokemon game ever no one could tell me otherwise oh man we still got a long way to go to get back home so i think i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna do that start getting over there and uh oh man i'm gonna be a while in the sky We'll see when I get there and how long it actually takes with this rain. 
Alright, so at least we made it back to the base safe and sound. And bloop them. That's I'm my bad. My bad to see you are. Yeah, we're back home finally. Let's heal up here quickly. We have a lot of organizing to do within our inventory and our backpack. So that's gonna take us a while, but I'm definitely gonna do that off camera because yeah, it's it's just it's 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 a lot, honestly. It's a lot. But I do wanna say thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. It's kind of a short one, I think. Kind of, yeah, maybe. I don't know. You know, we did a couple things, grinded some levels, did some dens, and I forgot what else we did because I'm just really tired right now. It's you know, tell it's still nighttime. You know, I should go ahead and uh, take advantage of the moon, catch some Z's. So, if you guys did enjoy today's episode, make sure to smash that like button. I appreciate the support you guys have been giving the series. Comment below which legendary I should take for the battle against Smoke. I'm still indecisive, but we'll see. We'll see which one I bring. Thank you guys so much for the support in the videos itself. It means the world to me. If you guys wish to support further, I do have a Patreon in the description below, which you can go ahead and snag yourself a membership or a subscription, however you want to call it, and have your name pop up in the videos like this with a little village you're dropping down with your name on it and going up a little waterfall and coming back down thank you guys so much once again from the bottom of my heart if you guys did enjoy make sure to smash that like button turn on the bell to receive more notifications for videos like this one and i'll see you guys in the next episode take it easy guys i love you